Today we're going to talk about a question I get all the time from my patients, and that is where do we put the stimulator leads that we use with the Nevro system? So I like to tell them it's the epidural space. What does that mean? A lot of people say, oh, you're putting it into my spinal cord, and that's just not true. So the spinal cord's right in the middle here. And actually the spinal cord usually ends around L1 and then the spinal nerves continue on after that. And when we're doing a lumbar spinal cord stimulator, we're entering usually around L1, 2, 2, 3, or 3, 4, depending on where the space is, depending on where there is previous surgery. And we go into what's called the epidural space or the space behind the dura. We have epidural space, subarachnoid space, and then the spinal cord in the middle. And we use a very precise technique with a needle and what's called loss of resistance to get to that space. If we look at a cross section, you can see here where that epidural space lies. And it lies really posterior, technically goes all the way around the dura, but the spot we're looking for is the posterior spot behind the dura, behind the spinal cord. And then we dive in and let's look at where the lead actually goes. So once again, we come into this space, this epidural space, and we can slowly feed this lead up that epidural space on the posterior side of the spinal cord. And what, this is what it looks like postoperatively when it's on an x-ray. So if we look at this lateral x-ray, we'll see it's posterior to where the spinal cord would be, right in the middle. Or if we're looking at an AP x-ray, we see it's right in the middle, posterior once again. And usually we put two leads in there. We stagger them really nicely to get coverage all the way from T8, all the way down from T12. Then we have to put the battery in. So a lot of patients say, well, where is this battery going to go? And there's really a few options for the battery. The main one I pick is this option D in the flank space or right between your lowest rib and your pelvis. So depending on size of the patient and handedness, we depend on if we put it on the left side or the right side. But afterwards, we can see how it looks where we have both leads going all the way up to the space we're trying to cover, that T8 to T12 area. Then we have the nice... Uh, battery sitting in the pocket. And if we go back here, you can see what the battery looks like when it's on x-ray here. It's usually just to the left of midline or just to the right of midline, depending on the side of the use, right in that nice pocket. Heals up very nicely after about two weeks. And all of this is under the skin. All of it's implanted. There's nothing on the outside. So basically, that's how we put in the spinal cord leads. It doesn't go into the spinal cord. It goes into something called the epidural space. And then we place that battery that has all the computers and all the brains of the system just below your skin or either your right or left flank.